Hey everybody, welcome to another short. Uh, I want to take a few minutes today and talk a little bit about fish management. Um, you know, kind of what that means, uh, how that works on the tournament scene, and, and how some anglers sometimes make some mistakes in the fish management category. Uh, but before I jump in, um, most people are aware, uh, especially in the kayak world, that uh, the Hobie Talk just recently took place. Um, the tournament champions was held down at Eufaula, Alabama on Lake Eufaula. Uh, and it was won by Christine Fisher. Uh, congratulations, Christine. That was an amazing achievement. Uh, very happy and proud of you. Uh, your hard work has paid off. And, uh, you know, uh, that's something that, that people recognize for sure is the, the amount of time and effort that you put into this industry and into your fishing. And it, it shows. And, uh, you know, you achieve great things because of that hard work. So uh, congratulations again. Um, you know, moving into fish management is important. Um, the talk itself is a three day event and managing fish over multiple days can be a very, very difficult task. Um, you know, people often say, you know, you can't win pre-fishing. Um, and the funny thing about it is, is that for as much as you can't win pre-fishing, you can lose an entire tournament in the pre-fishing scene. And what I mean by that is, you know, sometimes anglers go out and they, they have that want, that will, they need to catch a fish. And they go out there and they start catching fish and then they burn a hole or they burn a spot that may have had the quantity or the quality that they needed to support them through a tournament. Maybe a single day tournament, maybe a multiple day tournament, but by the time they come back on tournament day, those fish have been beat on so much that there's nothing there for them to work with. And that's a, a very critical lesson that, that people have to learn. And then the same thing moves into tournament day. You know, on a single day tournament, you go out on tournament day and you burn your hole to the ground because it's a one day tournament. But when you start talking about two day tournaments and three day tournaments, you have to be very mindful of your area that you're fishing and what you expect to get out of it. Um, for instance, if I, if I go into an area and I'm fishing a three day tournament, and I go get a limit of quality fish out of an area and I think it's got a good population, but it's not really populating, sitting there and beating on those fish all day may not be the best course of action. It might be better for me to pick up and go look for out fish elsewhere and go to those fish an opportunity to rest. Uh, I've found in tournaments that sometimes you need to pull away from a series of fish that you've been working and give them an opportunity to reset and or regroup uh, before you start casting at those fish again. Otherwise, the school may stay spread out, um, they may just stop eating, or they just may become, become, become accustomed to your bait uh, transitioning through their area. And so fish management is a critical thing. And you know, you can lose your event in practice, you can lose your event on day one, sometimes you can lose it on day two of a three-day tournament. It really comes down to how you manage your fish and how you manage your areas. Um, the more areas that you have available to you, the better. Um, because if you can make adjustments and move around and uh, give fish different levels of pressure, that's important. And then last but not least, understanding the number of anglers that are fishing in an area with you is kind of critical as well. If you have a spot and people are seeing you catch fish in a location and they see you depart or leave and go fish your area, then they may burn that slot for you as well. So you need to be cognizant of that. Know what you have and whether or not it's special. Does it, is it stand out? Is it separate? Is it a community hole? What makes it what it is? Um, these are very important factors when it comes to, to managing your fish. Do not, do not, do not beat yourself in practice and do not beat yourself on the opening day of a multi-day tournament. Um, you know, you're going to have to make adjustments along the way and that's okay. Just make sure you keep those thoughts in the back of your head when you're fishing those kinds of tournaments. Otherwise you regret it. Um, so anyway, till next time, I hope this helps uh, information wise. Please feel free to like and subscribe and give me some feedback if you've got some. You know, these videos for me are a work in progress. Uh, I'm trying to um, get some on the water time. I'm working on some other footage, um, some things that you guys haven't seen yet. You know, for me, this is something that's developing, something that's new to me and uh, something I'm going to continue to learn with. So in any case, I appreciate your time. Till next time, keep real.